Hi, it's Tara with Smart Deploy. We're going to show you how to install Smart Deploy and get it all set up. Go to smartdeploy.com and create an account if you haven't done it already and sign in. That will take you to the account management portal to download Smart Deploy. This is where customers can manage and make changes to their account details, edit users, and manage their licenses. Click download now to download Smart Deploy. You can download Smart Deploy on a laptop, desktop, or a server, and it doesn't need to be a dedicated single-use machine. Go ahead and launch the executable file and follow the prompts of the install wizard. While you're installing Smart Deploy, you may be prompted to install other components like Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. Windows ADK. After installation, new users will see a sign-in screen where you'll need to sign in with your Smart Deploy account credentials. Then you'll see a settings screen showing the Smart Deploy folder share and local user account information. When you install Smart Deploy, a default Smart Deploy folder share gets created to store all your workloads, image files, platform packs, etc. A local user account also gets created by default called SD Share User with an auto generated password. This account is used mainly for moving files from the Smart Deploy folder share to target machines. But if you wanted, you can also use any account that has read access to the file share on your Smart Deploy central server. Hit OK and the Smart Deploy web console will launch automatically. The machine that you first install Smart Deploy on will be your central server. You can then load the Smart Deploy web console on any device connected to the local network. The Smart Deploy web console is accessed with a URL containing the host name or IP address of your central server. For example, if your Smart Deploy central server is called Captain Crunch, then your Smart Deploy users would access the web console at the following URL. Via the web console, you can easily view all your machines and deploy to them. It'll also allow easy multi-user access. You can also create distribution points with Smart Deploy, which are like local or cloud file repositories you can use to store images and deployment packages for different groups of users or devices. The main advantage is that you can deploy to target devices more efficiently by deploying from the closest distribution point. You can set up a Seattle distribution point with deployment packages for Seattle users and deploy them locally. All right, that's it for this video. Next, we'll show you how to install the Smart Deploy client. For Smart Deploy, I'm Tara.